Hi everyone. I'm going to make a Taiwan circling swirl. I've got um, my oils all mixed and I add my fragrance oil right to my oils before I heat it up. And I'm soaping at 117 oils and 121 lye. I hope this isn't too noisy for you. I should have had some music playing or something because I don't know if I'd be able to attach some music. What I'm looking for is a nice light coat on my stick blender. I don't go by what it looks like when it traces across the batter itself. Okay. Now this is the last time I'll use my stick blender. See how that's coating my spatula? That's just the way I do it. I, that's how I tell if I'm ready to go. Okay. Well, I don't have any fancy equipment. I just use dollar store pitchers and pitcher bowls or whatever you call them. I'm going to divide this in half. I just play it by eye. A little bit more. Then I divide it in half again. pretty good. Okay, now my colors are Peach Shimmer Mica and 1982 Blue Mica and of course TD. What I did was mix my TD and a little bit of the blue together to make a, you see that, make a light blue. And I'm going to use that as my base. And I make, mix my TD pretty thick. That's my double color. And I stir my colors in with the spatula. I don't stick blend again. It turns into soap, believe me. I don't like that color, so we're going to go for some more. I 
kind of messy super. But I love doing it. We're supposed to be getting a terrible, terrible thunderstorm. It's getting dark out there. That's looking better. Very pale blue is what I'm going for. screen it looks a little darker than what it really is. Okay, we're going to call that good. Try to get that color off the spatula. Okay, can you see how thin that is? I find that when you add your colors and stir them in with a spatula, it keeps it at a thin trace. So you can pour it a lot better. And I am using white tea and ginger, which behaves very well in cold process. I'll set that aside. Get this off the sides here. full 1982 blue. It's a pretty shade of blue. Yeah, it's the 18 1982 blue mica. See that? Okay. Looks like it's pretty well stirred in. How I got started making soap is two Christmases ago, a lady brought me a gift of handmade soaps. And a bell went off. I thought, what a, what a great idea. Make soaps and package them as gifts. So that's what I do. A year and a half later, here I am making videos. Who knew? Now this will come out a little bit more peachy hoping anyway. You want to scrape the bottom and scrape the sides. Make sure you get all that color mixed in. Yeah, this white tea and ginger smells so good. Let's get my mold over here. And set this aside. And I'm gonna pour two light blues. I just pour right in the middle and it spreads out by itself. Oop. A little bit too much at one time. Let's get this orange in here. Good. I hate when that happens. Doesn't make a big deal though. 
And then I'm going to do ah, what am I doing? the light blue again. No, don't do that. I'm trying to rush a little bit here. Usually I take my time. And then the dark blue. At this point, I can pour all the dark blue in. I have my dividers attached to with rubber bands so that they don't, so it holds them down a little bit firmer. And if I have a, a little bit of batter left in the uh, pots, I just scrape it out at the end and put them in little heart molds or whatever kind of molds I have, just for embeds. Okay, I'm going to call that just about good. Should I sing to you? <laughs> you wouldn't like it. Sorry if I'm blocking your view. I got my little prize from Brand Blairy today, from Soap Queen, the little prize I won. They gave me a beautiful silicone mold with two daffodils and a soap stamp. Very nice. And then four sample bottles of different fragrance oils. What else? Oh, there was... Um, yellow salt clay. Okay. Call that good. 
Now this table is very sturdy. My brother built it for me for when I did stained glass. So I can pat it right on the table. Sorry if that hurt your ears. Okay, let me grab a here. Put the dividers in. I found this little thing at um, one of those little shops that uh, take goodies. It's called Liberty. They take do donations and then they resell them. And I thought this would come in handy somehow. I was right. down. Okay, call it good. Yeah, this, uh, these dividers are one of the best investments I ever made. using just little plastic things that I made myself. These things. That's how I always did my time on squirrels. But these things make it, these dividers make it so much easier. Down here. I don't know if I like these colors together. We'll see what it looks like after it's done. Okay. Still got a pretty thin trace here. Now the fun begins. Make sure that you're in the shot. Okay. Put your chopstick in the corner. Go straight across. Come up just a little bit. Come across again. Go back again. Just keep on going back and forth. You don't want to make them too off the big. Now that would make a cute or pretty soap just the way it is, just going back and forth like that. But we're going to have more fun. Go down the side, down the back, the bottom, up. Just keep on going till you get the look you like. I think we're going to call it quits there. It's a little wide at this end. But that's how you do it. Oops. One more time. And take 
just don't knock it out. Okay, that's it. So, I just put this baby to bed and we will cut it tomorrow in 24 hours. A few bubbles coming up. And you can see how fluid that is. It'll turn to soap. But anyway, I will take some pictures or maybe continue the video. I just take shots of the uh, cut. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you learned something. And I'll see you on YouTube. Oh, maybe I can do this. There you go. This is all new for me. So please bear with me. Bye. Oh, Misty Springs Bath and Body. That's me. Bye.